Kine's underlying condition is two brain abnormalities that have resulted in cerebral palsy and epilepsy. Yeah, so we found out uh, about Kine not by choice. We're on a family holiday to, to Queensland, the Gold Coast, and uh, I think the second day into it, and he started having seizures one afternoon. So we called an ambulance, got him up to um, Gold Coast Private Hospital there, and uh, they immediately ordered a CT scan. Yeah, I'll never forget the look on their face, because they'll look, they'll, the two of them were staring at the, the screen and uh, look of horror on their face. They came out and said, oh, look, he's missing his a genesis of the corpus callosum. Uh, that's the insulated between the two left, or left and right hand side of the brain, I guess. We were scared, you know, had no idea what, was, what, our, what our little boy was going to be able to do. The main thing that impacts Kyan is the seizures and what seizures bring to the way he functions. He does require full time care. He requires someone to feed him. Um, he's in nappies. Uh, he requires someone for all, all functions of his life. So prognosis for Kyan um, is unknown, big question mark. Uh, they really don't know because they don't have enough children in the world like Kyan. But in terms of uh, life, life expectancy, they, it's just yeah. they don't know. So yeah. we found out about very special kids through our paediatrician at Royal Children's Hospital. Uh, he recommended uh, that that would could be an organisation that could support us with some of the unique. Uh, things that we we're going to have to deal with with Kine going forward. If you consider Kine seizures and, and that you don't have access to uh, the normal uh, things like a, a babysitter or a nanny wanting to deal with a child with seizures, this was a perfect organisation that could support us. We have uh, three other children, uh, Hayden being our six-year-old, and we've also got twin girls, both three, Madison and Eloise. Very Special Kids has become a very important part of our support network. So a prime example for us was when Madison uh, got very sick at six weeks old and was in ICU. And at that time, uh, Very Special Kids just stepped in. They took Kyan for us. Uh, they cared for Kyan. They uh, visited us in the hospital and let us know that, that Kyan was OK, which allowed us to focus on Madison um, and, Eloise. and Eloise, who were both, both in hospital at the time. It's times like that, having some, a place like Very Special Kids, it, it, you can't buy that. <laughs> so when Kyan comes to hospice, we know he's happy. Yeah. Um, he loves going on outings. We've got beautiful photos of Kyan at farms and seeing sa sandcastles. Music therapy, he loves music therapy. Angela, um, our family support worker, I think one of the big th things that she's done for us is make some sense in the haze, in, in the, I guess, the maze of uh, disability world. Um, you don't know a lot when you come into this world and, and there's not a lot of resources you know how to access. Angela's been great because whenever we've had questions, she's always gone and found the answer for us. So seeing him happy is, is fantastic for us and that's all yeah. we ever asked for, I guess. Um, and it's something we've appreciated in the last, what, six to 12 months. He's been really, really happy. Yeah. At the moment, he's doing really well. So uh, for us, I guess, you know, long term, all I want is kind to be happy and I want to be able to have him live with us, you know, and, and be able to support him and, and have that support around us so that he can, can stay with us. Piggy Banks.